today I have traveled over to Columbia, Alabama, which I have uh, done a story here from before because the the brothers who escaped from Alcatraz in that uh, whole ordeal, they robbed a bank here in Columbia and that's what sent them to Alcatraz or what, that's what led to them going to Alcatraz. So I've been here before. There's also like a haunted house here that that they utilize at Halloween time and that kind of stuff, but I'm not here to talk about that today. I did the uh, paranormal video from over in Bruton, Alabama, and a lot of people enjoyed it. So today I am in Columbia to kind of do another paranormal type video, but this time we are at a cemetery. We are in the Columbia City Cemetery, and not only is the cemetery supposedly haunted, not only is there supposedly a lot of paranormal activity that goes on here, but there's some wild stories from some of the uh, tenants here that we're going to talk about today. Really wild. Some of them are crazy. So, this should be a, a pretty interesting video, especially if you like this kind of stuff. So I'm inviting all of you to, to join me on this adventure today while we tell some crazy stories and some ghost tales from Columbia City Cemetery here in Alabama. Columbia City Cemetery. Uh, a lot of crazy stuff goes on. Not only are there some stories that we're going to talk about in a few minutes, but people report hearing a lot of paranormal activity. For example, people report hearing violins late at night, even though there will be no one out here. They also report hearing a baby cry during the day and at night. Now, Paranormal investigators have frequented the cemetery because of all the activity here. We're going to go over it all today, but I don't know how they narrowed it down or how they figured it out, or it may even just be suspicion, but they say that the baby they hear crying is that of the infant William J. McGriff born in March of 1839 and died in June just a couple months old uh, this was the first person laid to rest here in the cemetery and that's what this marker is denoting the site marks the first recorded interment in the Columbia City Cemetery yep and I, I don't I guess I don't know if they know for a fact that he's the baby they hear crying or if they're just suspecting or what who knows on top of uh, the violin and the baby crying people see shadowy figures or uh, guests who maybe have a relative or someone here in the cemetery sometimes says they see someone walking on the backside of the property and they just disappear there's been reports of people feeling like they've been touched Somebody like grab their arm or their hand or something and they turn around and no one's there. All kinds of crazy stuff com comes out of this small town cemetery here right outside of Dothan, Alabama. Well, on top of the haunted activity, there are some crazy stories from some of these graves that's out here. And we're going to talk about them today. For one, out here by the road, the original entrance into the cemetery is just creepy all by itself. This metal, wrought iron, Columbia Cemetery. This is this was the original entrance to the cemetery right here. They since you know expanded the cemetery has grown and they moved the entrance around the corner there but look at the some of this detailing here on these poles it's yeah you can it's been painted over many 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 times it's wild 
you come through this gate through in between the trees and into the cemetery besides hearing the violins playing at night and the babies crying there's a couple of really really crazy stories that happened um, for one there was a gentleman named Charles Summerford he died because he was struck by lightning well he was laid to rest here where he laid for many years and then one day out of the blue a storm was coming through and as you can see there was a tree right here well lightning struck the tree and destroyed his headstone on his grave so not only did he get struck by lightning and it killed him then his grave got struck by lightning and it was destroyed well mr summerford did not have any surviving family members so there has not been anyone to fix the grave so for a long time now it has just sit just like this broken and destroyed torn up from the lightning and it's probably how it will remain for the rest of time because again mr. Summerford doesn't have any family members alive but that is not all there's still more from this one cemetery And this one's probably the most famous from here in Colombia, because there was a guy by the name of Henry Deal. Deal had uh, what they called tapophobia, which is the fear of being buried alive. So, when he died in 1939, he arranged to have pipes built into his grave so that in case he was buried alive, he could still breathe. Here is Mr. Deal's grave, and there are the air pipes. He had purchased his, this spot for him and his wife, which his wife died before him. She died about 17 years ahead of him. And that's how he was able to get it all situated see they they have capped the air pipes off now because obviously mr. deal and his wife are, are buried above ground and they don't want that getting out into the open it looks like they've had to do a little repair work right here on the back side of it but uh, he when he set all of this up he set it up with the instructions that the pipes were to remain open to allow air into the tomb there for a year. And then they were to seal it up just to guarantee that he hadn't been buried alive. Now, even though Mr. Deal did pass away, he was not buried alive as he was afraid. Um, apparently his spirit is still trapped inside of this tomb people come all times of the day or night to see this tomb because of its because of the air vents and all this is not normal and you can hear some crazy stuff they say coming out of this tomb now right the second i'm standing here i do not hear anything crazy coming out of it but there that's the majority of the reports they get is hearing strange and crazy noises coming out of Mr. Deal's tomb here, his crypt. It's nuts. It's wild. They even have the the uh, lantern thing here that you know they put the fluid in and light, and I'm sure that just makes it even all the more creepier. Lastly, one of the last uh, stories from here in Columbia City Cemetery 
Well, for, for starters, the building that you see right here beside the cemetery, that is uh, Columbia High School. Now, as you can see, if you look, all of the graves out here all point the same direction. They all point east. So, you can see the second coming of Christ is what they say. All of the graves are pointed this way, except for one. If you look right here, you will notice that Miss Bessie Wood Kuntz, her grave, she's buried facing this way. Now, Miss Bessie Kuntz, uh, she accidentally mistook some strychnine powder for her toothpaste one morning and her you know morning routine turned fatal so it was ruled an accidental death or a suicide and she was buried here but for whatever reason they accidentally buried her backwards they buried her the opposite direction of everyone else miss bessie here she loved to play the violin. Um, this is the reason for why they hear violin noises out here in the cemetery at night. They think it's Miss Bessie. Now, she was buried here because uh, the, this has always been a high school over here. It's been torn down and rebuilt a few times. The band room, this is in this back corner right here. That's the band room for Columbia High School. And she wanted to be buried near the band room so she could hear the music. That was her thought. So her family purchased this entire plot right here, right next to the band room, so that they could hear. Now, I really can't find much to tell me how they made the mistake that she was buried upside down or backwards. But she is the only grave in this entire cemetery that is buried that way. The uh, residents here, their heads would be on the back side of the grave. Well, Miss Bessie's, her head is on the opposite side there, going this way. It's really crazy, and it's really strange to have one cemetery that has multiple different uh, anomalies, like Mr. Deal over there with his... Uh, Tapophobia and having the pipes built into his grave and then having Miss Bessie here face backwards having the guy Mr. Summerford back there who got struck by lightning and killed and then his grave got struck by lightning and destroyed It's it's really odd to have so many odd occurrences happen in one place Which probably adds to the speculation that the cemetery is haunted, but as I said Paranormal investigators from Dothan or uh, the local area have come and done paranormal investigations here in the cemetery and have gotten positive results. There has been quite a few documented occurrences of hearing the baby crying and the violin and most notably hearing noises from Mr. Deal's tomb over there. They do believe that there's more they will uncover here in Columbia City Cemetery. Now, I do know that a uh, true crime story that I'm going to be telling tomorrow took place in Dothan, but the woman lived in Columbia, the victim, or one of the victims, I should say, and they are buried here in this same cemetery, which, as I was doing my research for that, that led me to the haunting of the cemetery, so... I'm going to be filming that story tomorrow from Dothan, so rather than come all the way back, I'm going to go ahead and look and see about getting uh, some pictures of her final resting place while I'm here today. That is going to do it for this episode today and the haunting of Columbia City Cemetery. I want to thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it if you're new here. Go down and hit that subscribe button. Then hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. Some, I, got, I think I got some true crime coming up next. 
either way. Thank you all. I will see you again tomorrow. Please stay safe and stay healthy. Much love to you all.